All right, so let's go over this. So this is the new algo um, that we're getting out to everybody. Right now, we do have a Rinko bar set up, a Uni Rinko set up in the room. It's a 113.13. What I have set up is I have uh, just one zone set up in the room, one zone. Specifically, um, the automated trading will not take place until it actually hits a specific level. Let's just go over that real quick. Let's just go over this chart. This is uh, this is crude. I mean uh, the S and P. So you can see the accuracy. Uh, this is just since the last what couple of weeks, seven two to seven thirteen, um, a little bit over ninety percent on as far as this zone that I have set up here, based upon two contracts. Obviously, we know past performance does not indicate future performance so everybody just a heads up I mean we already know that so but this will give you a good start to uh, to see what type of uh, possible results we can get with these zones uh, this is just the S&P uh, like I said uh, the big contract um, uh, Tina is going to back test for us all the way up to 40 years on this um, so thank you Tina for doing that these zones I'll get more clarification uh, and get uh, make sure uh, I'll show you the results on the S&P. Uh, so we will do that for you uh, once we get that out to Tina. Uh, we are going to uh, get this new, this updated program out to you guys, and uh, we'll have a conference call on this, um, on how it's going to work. Uh, basically, <clears throat> what I'm going to show in the room, um, it has to hit this uh, uh, specifically outer zone, uh, which is uh, which I'll show you. I'll go over the conference call. It will not take a trade, an automated trade, until you get to the specific number. It can't close outside of it here, but it is. Uh, we'll take it. We'll show in the room when it does take trades like this, uh, uh, when it specifically hits this outer edge and gets pulled in. If it closes outside of it, it won't show it. But what I'll also do is I'll show you arrows. Uh, let's say that the market's moving. Um, it doesn't hit this outer edge. Uh, it will show the arrows when there is a possible buy setup or sell setup, when a WPT setup. So the upgrade now shows these arrows that will automatically fire. Now what you can do is is one of our best trades is a momentum trade, where uh, you turn all six green or all six red. You can turn that on, and it's going to get any trade, any wave that's going to happen. Uh, when you turn six red or six green, as long as you're below the zone, and it's going to do everything for you. So what will happen? Let's say we turn six red or six green here at this level. Then what you can do is you can go in and you can actually get it to take all automated trading. So let me get this over here real quick. So you can go in. And you can check to take every single zone trade after you get six red or six green. So what's going to happen, I'm going to turn this thing on. So let's say that you get um, let's say that you get all six red or all six green at this level on our momentum chart. You could turn on the automated trading. And what will happen is it will fire these levels, will fire off, and it will get you in the trade automatically. So let's say this happens. All right. Here's the, here's the neat thing about this upgrade. Here's our momentum chart. Now check this out. When you turn all six green or all six red, Wait to turn all six green. There's all six. Here we go. Here we go. Right here. Here's a good example. When you turn all six green, all six red, right there at 905 yesterday, that tells you the market has momentum. What you can do now is you can turn on auto your automated trading strategy, which has this zone already preset, and it's going to get any one of these waves, the shallow wave. The intermediate wave or the long wave it's not uh, it's not going to miss any one of these waves you can take the first or second wave that's the best way to take so what you can do 
is you can turn it on. Let's say it turns all six green here. You can turn it on. Now news just came out. But you can turn it on and you can let it automatically pull your pull you in the trade. The stop will be in there. Your uh, your stop, your targets, and your uh, your trail. Okay. So it'll automatically keep you in that trade. So every time there's a WPT, there's a WPT, WPT, every time there's a WPT, it will pull you in that trade before contracts. It will never overexpose you more than four contracts long or short. So if you're doing the micros, see, it got four long here in my zone. It came up and it got three more long because it took three off. It took one, two, three off. So another WPT came up. And it got three more long. So what you can do as traders now is what you can do is you can trade uh, strictly momentum. And you can let the momentum of the market let you turn the strategy on and let this automated trading work for you. All right. Now, obviously, we're at the sign of the disclaimer. Automated trading is not for everybody because you got to watch it. Make sure it's turned on the right way. Turn it off. But for those of you who want to incorporate automated trading for that let the computer do the work for you, we have made this upgrade. Once you sign a disclaimer, this will automatically pull you in the trades with your targets, with your stops, and you don't have to do anything else. It will do everything for you. Right? You will have to qualify it to see if it turns six red or six green on the momentum chart so we know we got momentum in the market. And then it's up to you how many ways you want to take. You can toggle it on and toggle it off. If you're going to let this thing run 23 hours, 24 hours a day, I like these outer edge plays only, like this. You can do anything you want. You can change your zones. In the room, every time it hits an outer edge like this, it will take a trade in the room. You'll see it. You see it on it. It, it won't take shallow trades like this, though. That's, that's because of this. So this performance I'm showing you right now, this past performance, Remember, it's not indicative of future performance. I'm just telling you what it did the last couple of weeks. You know, it, it will show you going forward what what you can do for tw if we let it run 24 hours a day. All right, but I what I'm going to train is I'm going to train uh, educate traders. Let the momentum of the market come in. You can turn the strategy on and then let it do its work. Now, like I said. Thank you, Tina, one of our long-term members. She's going to back test this on our zones to give you, uh, to let you know up to 40 years what this has done. Performance-wise, we will get it out to members only, and we'll let you guys uh, we'll let you guys see the results as far as that goes. So, if you wanted to go into it, then if you want to go in the strategy. Let's say you don't want to take every WPT. You turn it back off. You can see I have I have my I have my stops. Whoops. Have my zone. I did widen the zone up in the room. I have a 5438. 5438 in the room. I'm showing it was 4938. I widened it up so we can catch all momentum trades. Turn it on. But what you can do, let's say you uncheck check zone. Then what it's going to do, it's only going to take trades when it hits this specific zone on the outer edge. All right, so that will do that also for you. So, but you can see this is the best time it will pick these up. So if you ever see momentum, or I mean, obviously we had news just come out. So here's a great example. So news just came out, right? News came out. Let's see if it picked up this trade right here at 833. Let me get the turn this thing back on. One second. So I'm going to show you how you can turn this on and let the automation do the work with momentum. But the arrows will automatically fire. So even if you let this thing run, do automated automation with it, uh, and you're only looking for a specific zone trade, it will fire every WPT if you wanted to, if you uncheck the zone. So it will fire every single WPT that's out there. 
So let me fire this thing back up. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Make sure I got this thing on. Here we go. So here we go. News came out, right? So obviously this is news. This is news, but you can see this is fast. This is only 20, 40 seconds after news, right? 40 seconds after news, you can take the first way. But it, my, the point is, the automation will do the work for you. So as we move forward, automation got in that short here. So this is news that came out. So the market's moving kind of fast right now. But you can see that it's, it works even in a fast market. So this is where we turn all six red, all six green. Once the news came out at 830. So the first target's off. So as we watch this trade, the first target's off. So what it'll do, it'll be break even plus one. So up here, as we're working this trade, it will get out of all contracts at that level right here. So if not, it's going to go for target two. So we're going to let this thing run for you. So it will break even right there. So instead of, have, so instead of trying to trade this momentum, the automation will do it for you. All right? And the arrows will come up automatically. So you see how it went break even plus one. Now it's back out. If it would have kept running, then it went all, all the way to my targets are 25, first target, 50 ticks, second target, 75, third target, 150 ticks, fourth target. You can change your targets. You can change your zones. I got these specific zones in for you particularly. So this morning, there's your trade that happened right at the open, right when news hit. So that's what you got right when news hit. So this works even with news when news first comes out. But what happens is, is that you can even, the arrows will come up with every WPT now also. So you don't need the stochastic down here to look when to pull in. This arrow will automatically fire. So if you wanted to take every single WPT, you could also do that by turning off zone and taking those also. All right, that's the news. This morning, as you can tell, Here's our trade this morning on automation. We had a green ATR, opposite color speed bars come in, automation gets you in on first, second target, third target, and second target got fourth, third and fourth got stopped out. So how I'm going to train this is you see the momentum is dissipated over here, right? So since momentum is dissipated, you can A, turn it off and wait for six red or six green to happen again and try to get into the market with automation. Or B, if you have a setting that you like already, like a setting where I have it to only come up if it hits this outer edge of 54, it's got to hit right at 54. Because you can see the accuracy of 54 was over 90% the last couple weeks. Like I said, historical performance doesn't indicate a future results, so just be aware of that. If I come in here and see, I have all all trades taking place right now because I have zone unchecked. If I check that zone, it's only going to take zone trades that clip that that hit my 54 over 54, one number 54, 154, 54, 154. So what it will do is it'll only take trades based upon that specific number or zone that I put in. So you can trade specific zones. The automation will automatically trade the specific zones that you're looking for. Okay? Or you can trade all these. Now, now since the momentum is dissipated, see we got yellow dots and red dots, you could actually turn the strategy completely off if you want. Or just let it run. You can let it run this morning, knowing it's only going to take trades on this outer edge anyway, and look for specific arrows to pull yourself in when you get alignment on trade setup. All right, you can see how it comes up to the zone and reverses. So we'll go over that in a conference call, how you can use this to your advantage. You can take all these trades if you want, only specific certain trades, but I am showing a 113.13 uni arrow. All right, so specifically, you see how it, hit, how it hits the outer edge. So for the room, you see how it hit the outer edge? 
I specifically have it set for you guys just to run automated trades 24 hours a day at 54, 54. Because it's what? It's very, very accurate. If you look at that level, let's go back to it again. You can see this is just two contracts. We're sitting over 90%, 91%, I'm sorry, historically, just the last couple of weeks, just running this on the S&P. Obviously, like I said, remember that these results don't, they are not indicative of future results, remember that, but it gives you a good, good feel for how this works. Now, when Tina gets our 40 years of backtesting in, you're going to pretty much know if this zone has worked the last 40 plus years in the percentage. I mean, we'll have that for you. But you can see how accurate it is even this morning with news. All right? So you can just turn this on, automation on automatically. Even if you have automation turned on automatically, it will still fire the arrows. So you'll still get these arrows if it doesn't meet all the criteria of pulling in. If there's a possible trade inside that zone, you can see it here it got this one right at the edge. It got this one right at the edge. So it's, it's pretty neat how accurate this is with um, how accurate this is with the uh, fully automation or specific zone automation. Now, like I said, if you want to take every trade when the arrow pops up, you uncheck zone, uncheck zone. We click enable, click it back in, and these will fire trades. It will fire all day long, 23 out 24 hours. But what I like to do, now if you find, I find a zone that's accurate like that, like my zone, I love the 54 zone, it's extremely accurate. You know, we'll have, like I said, 40 years of back test on it for you on specific numbers in the in a conference call only for members. But you see right here, it's still short. So if you want to go just all automated, right now it's still running. So all automated, you can see it's after news. News came out here at 8.30, so it got really fast. Let's run one, two, three, four sets of setups. It closed out here with a small stop because it closed outside of our zone. Right, but right now we have a runner running, so let's take a, take a look at it. This got break even plus one. This is gonna hit our first target here in a second because I got my first target at 25 ticks. So once it hits the first target, what it will do is it'll go break even plus one. And after breaking plus one, I'll try to get to my second, third, or fourth target. Now you can change your targets, guys. You don't have to do a 25 tick first target like this. Or a 50 tick second target. Or a 75 tick third target. A 150 target. Some of you will be scalpers. You know, some of you want to scalp the market, which is fine. You know, I'm just telling you how we're setting it up to send it out to you. Will be like this, but what's neat is is that when you get full momentum in the market and you get six red or six green on momentum chart, this thing can really do the work for you without having you to you know pull the pull the trigger in out in out in out. The automation will do that for you. And like I said, I have this all set up for you. The difference in the upgrade, this ATR you can see is goes with the overall trend of the market. So if it's red ATR, we're looking for sell setups. If it's green ATR, we're looking for buy setups. In any market you look at, it's as simple as that. Okay, red, red ATR, sell setups, green ATR, buy setups. Okay, so we're gonna leave this in the room. Uh, Gerald's wrapping this thing to get out to you. These arrows will automatically fire now for you when there's WPT, WPTs that come up. So anytime there's a WPT, these arrows will fire. The zone I'm using in the room is a 5438. Let you guys know, 5438. All right, this is a news trade. Just happened just now. And you can see these automatically fire, even which is news. This morning before news, it caught the nice wave up also. You see it caught the nice wave here. It did get break even plus one. It's set uh, 645 this morning. I mean, caught for target one, target two, and then target three got stopped. You can see on a big run, if your targets were a little bit different, you're good there. 
So you can see we're okay now we just hit our first target all right so now our first targets off on the automated trading so now our first targets off so what, what does it do it now we'll go break even plus one so we'll go break even plus one is trying to get to the second target so now it's break even plus one right there so as long as we stay below that threshold just keep it running Gerald I'm going to show traders how this works keep it running as long as we stay below that breaking plus one is going for target two now I'm going for 50 ticks on the S&P. Now I'm running for 50 ticks. I want this thing to get me 50 ticks. So now I'm breaking plus one. Automation is working. We got no care in the world because it's breaking plus one. We can't lose on the other three contracts because we're breaking a plus one. So now it's trying to go for 50 ticks. So now we're trying to work our way down to the second target. Now what happens is once we hit the second target, then the stop is going to adjust down to target one. So after we get target two off at 50 ticks, then all, all contracts will be stopped out on a trail to target one. And then after target three hits, all stops will be trailed. Now target two just hit. See, target two just hit. Now what's going to happen is the stop is now just moved. All contracts will be sold at target two now. So if price comes back up to target two, it's going to sell the other two contracts. If not, it's now going to go for 75 ticks. So now we are off 50 ticks on this trade. So we're off 50 ticks. So no matter what, we're going to capture on the subsequent position 25 ticks. We got 50 ticks on one contract, 25 already off, 50 off. Now we're going to go for 75 ticks. So now the trade is working for 75 ticks to the downside. And if not, then it will stop out, break even, break even at the first target. And we'll keep doing that. So if, if the 75 ticks hit, then this stop will go will come all the way down to 75 ticks. And then the runner will try to get to 150 ticks. All right, but this is what. So now we're still running because we haven't stopped out. So target one's off. Target two is working, all right? But you can see this is automation right after news. This is strictly automation using our auto trader. You can see how easy it is to just turn it on, let it do its work, and you don't have to panic and try to buy so inside the market, in and out, in and out. And that's why we came out with this auto to help you guys assist you in your in your entries. Now the neat thing about it is, like I said, with the help of our associate, of our member, Tina, we're gonna back test this 40 years for you and give you results over 40 years. Not five years, two weeks. You know, I showed you two weeks were over 90%, but you know, that's just recently. I, well, we wanna show you a good 40 year back test on this to show you how it works. Now, like I said, this is a 113.13 uni. So our maximum stop, let it run, Gerald. Let's keep letting it run. I want to see if target three can hit. I want to show you how this works live here, guys. Or at least till it stops out, Gerald. If it stops out here, Gerald, we'll shut it off. It comes up to target two or target one. So that's how it's going to work. It's going to, <clears throat> the zone, this, this market likes to, re, the S&P likes to reverse inside the zone, guys. Okay, now we're off. So now see, it took both contracts off. Now the trade's completely done. Because target one hit, target two hit, and it trailed everything with target one. Now, it's going to go back into another trade. Let's watch this for a second, Gerald. Hold on one sec. WPTs are coming in, so it's going to take another live trade in a second if you elect to let it keep running. So it's not going to pull in until it qualifies. An arrow will fire at the top of the bar when there's a qualified trade coming up. Like I said, this is the S&P with the news that came out this morning. And you could turn this on when there's momentum in the market. Like I said, when it turns all six green or all six red over here, or you can let it just run if you find a zone you like. You can let it run around the clock. I'm going to train traders if there's momentum coming in the market on the momentum chart. Automation works well. Now, WPT is coming up, right? It's catching the rolling position. Trader is going to catch it short. And a trade's going to happen again, 
but it can't close outside my zone here. My outer parameters I set on this thing is 54, so it cannot close outside of 54. If it closes outside of 54, there's no arrow that's going to fire. Now watch this. It's got to stay in my parameters, and I'm my parameters I programmed into this strategy for you guys. Right? It's got to stay inside of this top zone. If it closes outside, it won't take a trade. See it? Stayed inside the top zone. I took a trade. Stayed inside on the buy, on the zone. It took a trade. Got to stay in there. So as long as it pulls in, see how she closed a couple outside of it? And see how I had a red bar, but there's no arrows that fired in? See how that works? So no trade takes place. Because we closed outside of my zone. It did not contain inside of the zone. 